Hi, my name's Alan Edwards, and in this development blog video, I'm going to show you a look trigger in a Strange Deck 2. So here's the uh, level setup. We've got a target over here, which is the island. Uh, that's just one object. And there's also a trigger here. So this is a special trigger called a look trigger. Uh, and I've set up on it a target, so that's that actor over there, a field of view, and the amount of time we're required to look at it. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick demo. Let's click play. So I'm not looking at the island at the minute, I'm looking at anything but looking the opposite side. So when I look at the island, there's going to be a sequence triggered. So let's do that now. So that was the sequence. So if I try that again, I'm going to do the current position this time. You see, if I just go like that, if I spin around, doesn't trigger the sequence because that required look time isn't getting met. However, if I stare at it for half a second, you can see it triggers. So that's the uh, blueprint we're going to be making in this video. So let's dive into the look trigger. So this is just uh, inheriting from trigger box. So just a blueprint I've made. Now the first thing that we do when we begin play, now the important thing about this is we're just going to toggle ticking. So the expense of checking whether the pawn is looking at the target is going to happen in the tick function. So when we begin play, we just check if the pawn is inside the... Uh, so this is the player pawn, so this, this will only work in a, a kind of single player game. If you're doing multiplayer, you'll need something a bit more complex. But if the pawn is inside the trigger, then set the tick enabled. Similarly, if you overlap the trigger, then enable the tick. And as soon as you end overlapping the tick, disable the trigger. So this is designed for one player, single player game. Um, so let's look at the tick function. So there's a bit of um, maths going on before the actual uh, meat of the logic here, but this is the logic that calculates whether you're actually looking at the target. So firstly we get the look target, we get its location, we subtract the player's eyes viewpoint, so we get the player pawn, get the actor eyes, subtract that from the location of the look target, then we normalize that so it becomes a unit vector, and then we get the forward vector of the rotation of the uh, actor's eyes, the eyes viewpoint, and then just do a dot product. Um, so that will get the, I think it's the cosine angle between those two vectors. And we've got this field of view um, uh, property here, which I've set to 0.75 by default, and I think that's what we're using in the level here. Yeah, 0.75. So if the dot product of those two vectors is greater than 0.75, then we're pretty sure that the player is looking at it. So if you uh, were to reduce that, it would uh, require the player to be looking at it less for it to trigger. So if we put that to 0.25, I'm pretty sure, there we go, see it triggered when I wasn't really looking at it. And if we set it to something like uh, 0.95, oops, no, that's the wrong field, we set this one to 0.95, try playing. We have to be very accurate with where we're looking, that was kind of exactly on the point. So 0.75 is a good, uh, good middle point for that. So if that's true, if, it's, if the dot product is greater than our field of view, if we're looking at it, and the trigger is enabled, there's just an enabled bool um, for that, then we're pretty sure that we should execute the, the logic for triggering. So every tick we check that. Um, we've also got this property look time total, which is private. Here, I oh, know it's public, probably should be private. Um, but we add the delta seconds between the tick to the look time total, if we're looking at it. And then we check if the required look time, or the, sorry, the, the current look time total is greater than the required look time. So in this case, we're, our required look time is half a second. So if I change this to five seconds, and try this again, you see that it will trigger. It took five seconds for it to trigger. So that's what that does. Um, and we also check that it 
wasn't triggered before. Uh, if it wasn't triggered before and we're over the required look time, then we say was triggered, and then we call this on trigger event. And in my level, in the uh, trigger here, I've got an event on trigger, and it, all it does is it plays this level sequence, which is island review. Uh, that's it for that video. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching.